Welcome, my friends. Welcome to the show. What a show it is. And what's on the show today? Wow, we have the minarets of Yemen. We have the ancient light bulbs of the past civilization reset civilization. We have interesting architecture, engraved bricks, what looks to be nuclear power plant from 400 BC, among other oddities. This here's my vacation, my campfire in slow mo. In case you want to see more slow-mo fire shots, go to my Facebook page. I'm under the name Jolly Jackster. You'll see the name Billy Boone on there. The guy from Canada. And, uh, I really have no problem showing my children, you know, if you want to see my kids, my wife, all that stuff, I leave it off this channel. But it's no secret I have three children and wife one son from a previous relationship and he'll be coming back to Ottawa in about a week or two and he'll start school again. Looking forward to that. Alright, so here we are in Yemen. We have these pockets of survival. Yeah, putting up in the top corner what I think is going on actually. If you look at this a little closer I find that these huge buildings that are melted in the back could may have once have been larger water cooling tanks perhaps you see at the bottom there is one a cooling tank that could have been for a nuclear power plant hundreds of years ago the more you look at it perhaps the more you'll see it Maybe I'll call this one the melted Yemeni power plant. Look at this. It's all for the, for the production of electricity. In my estimation, my brother works on a nuclear plant, and I'm here to tell you, it's not dangerous. Those hot rocks, they give off steam, and they melt water. They, they boil water without any... Uh, Without any fuss or muss, and when they cool off the rocks, man, it creates a nice warm swimming pool full of uh, warm water that's, um, have no fear for atomic energy, all right? That's what Bob Marley said, because none of them are gonna stop by the time. That's also what he said. But, uh, I don't know what he meant by the second part, but look at this, is uh, you know, this is just, like, survival... Parts, pieces, bits, and pieces of what's left from past age. So the Yemeni minarets tipped me off to a few other minarets that I generally just started looking. I'm making the cross-reference as to Okay, but this actually was for electrical consumption, I guess you could say. I should be able to cross-reference these with actual technology that did the actual work that we're proposing these things did. As in, pick up a stat static electric charge from the top, and bring it down to the bottom, a series of wires, or one solid wire, I suppose you could say. Why else would they have so many minarets? It's certainly not to broadcast the prayers because you see these uh, these uh, sound, you know, for them to broadcast the sound at the tops of the minarets. One that just naturally should be able to broadcast your voice from the top of a minaret down over across a town, but it's not like that. Sound does not travel through air very well, especially from above. It will travel very well across water. If you're on one side of a lake, you can almost whisper to each other. Here, this may be a cooling system that's like, you know, 
like a screen or some sort of whole uh, texturized surface perhaps to give off heat let heat dissipate looking suspiciously like a uh, filament element perhaps um, scorched on the top as a lot of these are <clears throat> This one looking a bit more like the Tower of Babel. But uh, in its totality, we're looking at something that serves a greater purpose and function. I have a slight sore throat and it's really <coughs> causing havoc on my voiceover. So let me take a sip of tea here. Now look at this, doesn't this look like a nuclear dome? You can almost see the filament. Perhaps it was encased in in the tube, in the vacuum tube before. You never know. They went around breaking all the vacuum tubes out. The the top of these minarets would have been a light bulb up there. Why else would you have that in that configuration of the exact configuration of a light bulb? Think about it. Right. So that's what I'm driving at here, peeps. That's what I'm driving at. That one looks like a face, like a sad face. Oh, that's not good, Mr. Light Bulb. Early light bulbs and the filaments involved in the inside of the test tube. It's just wackadoodle little filaments that they just wound up like that. And uh, passing the electricity on to the next one, I suppose. But what would be the purpose of this five or six of them all in a like it looks suspiciously like a cooling tower for nuclear power and i told you my brother works on the old reactor and so does my nephew he works with him uh the nephew's been working there three years and my brother's been working on the reactor for about 20 years so he's as strong as an ox they pay him danger pay for no reason put a little bit of that in context for you some of those photos are old but um again i i owe you guys two weeks in a row now with the photos if you're checking the irs instagram i don't expect you to or you know you're not obliged to all i'm saying is if you want to get more information out of these photos that i've collected here that's where you'll find them i don't mail out i don't uh if you have some sort of Timestamp on you put on my comments what's happening at the minute 18 or minute 10 or whatever I'll go back every time and check it out and search it out for you and 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 try and Discuss what I'm looking at here, but you can see the the speakers in the windows. It's no good for sound. That's no good A, a little window like that you wouldn't be able to hear someone at the top so it's those minarets are not for the prayer gathering, worship of prayer, at least not originally, what you do is you create a, a concave, like at the bottom of a building and would have like a hole at the base of a building and an arch uh, kind of over top of, it. and you were to stand under the arch in a concave fashion and started praying, singing, playing saxophone in there. That would reverberate out in one direction, causing a speaker effect. But what I used to do, look at this one. It's a beautiful nuclear power plant. I used to face the speakers when I was playing live. I would face them towards a brick wall. If I was playing in front of a brick wall, I would turn the speakers around, and the whole brick wall would become the surface of the speaker because I'm bouncing the sound off of the brick wall behind me, and it's coming back and um, it creates this kind of slap echo effect that uh, if you're far enough from it, it, it can fuck you up. But uh, mostly what you're trying to do there is avoid the wind if you're playing live outside. Look at the detail in this. Wind will kill you every time. It's not about the sun. It's about the wind. Snow, I can play in the snow. But mostly, if you're at the top of a tower like that, your voice is not going to carry. Voices carry. 
Remember that song? He said, shut up. He said, <laughs> God. She's on the old tranny uh, trans investigation list, too, that one. They sang that song. Married to one of the Penn brothers, the musical Penn brother, not Sean Penn. Go figure. So, yeah, the Minaret Special. Here you go. I kind of got caught up a little bit in my own research. And this is just a side story to what it is we're looking at. Look at all the speakers. The broadcast of prayer. Look up at this one. Isn't that amazing? That looks like CN Tower to me. Under construction. Nice. Now this next one, you're going to see, I believe it's in Afghanistan, but there's water at the bottom of it. Isn't there? Or maybe that's a green grass there. You can almost see in that hill there's an opening, a cave with a like gothic arch. The penises, the melted penises, I guess it looks like. No, probably minarets. Here, Saudi, Saudi Arabia. Some of these are Afghanistan, Iran. Just looking at the detail in the minarets. Here's a red one. I'm hoping I didn't get the stupid COVID. I got a bit of a sore throat, but I took the zinc tablet, which really is terrible. Tastes terrible. I took the old fisherman's friend. I'm having tea with lemon, and I vaporized some cannabis. Cannabis. There's no smoking today. And here's a newer one for you. If you're still with us in the channel, I'd say thank you very much for your time and your research. Here are the minarets. Do they serve a second function? Did they, in the past, I guess, serve a second function? What would be the point of having five? Why not have six? Why not just one? So that's kind of my point. You know how this goes. It's kind of... Um, these research topics are take me a while to put them together for a 10-minute video. It take, could take me all day on one silly topic. And when you're jumping from topic to topic, you know, you try to keep it interesting. And It's more of a magazine show anyway. What we're looking for are the ethereal uh, electricity gathering antiquitech today. Y'all have a great day. Here's a shot of Bolivia. Bolivia.